has it teed up. Deep manner, Isaiah Phillips, number three, and Perry Carter, number 14. And this will be Phillips from the goal line. They've got some speed on that part of their team. And Phillips with a good start to the season for the Warhawks. Out to the 35 for the start of the second. That is Ross Tucker. My name is Ben Holden. Tina Servasio down on the field. Bill Thayer, our producer today. Matt Plundo, our director. Tom Wicks, our AD. And all of our great crew as Suits takes a shot downfield. Got him in. It is caught and tripped up and saving the touchdown. It was caught there by Bloomfield, their fastest guy. And a great job of making the stop there by Cameron Jones, and they're on the board. ULM, bottom of your screen, they're going right on the football. It's just a deep post. He flies by Cameron Jones, the backup corner. Corner. Three touchdowns last week. Army already with four runs of 10 or more yards in this game. Keyshawn Johnson in there on the stop on Christian Anderson. Really well done there by ULM's defense. Second and six. Anderson, good job, good pursuit there. He had four white jerseys, five white jerseys getting the football. I think he football. lost the ball, Yeah, man. no whistle. There was no whistle. No, there wasn't. And yeah, that's huge. If they've got the ball, they do. Still discussing no indication from the officials yet. I think these electronic whistles are an issue. Yeah, I do too. That's the second or third yep. time in this game a bunch of guys were standing around yep. thinking the play was over. Giving Mason Hussman credit for the fumble recovery if it stands. Going on the field is a fumble recovered by the defense. It'll be Louisiana Monroe's first down. So they force the turnover, and Mason Hussman gets the job. You mentioned him earlier, a fifth-year senior, comes away with a football. That is huge for the Warhawks. Take a look at it. Anderson. Oh, that ball was out early. Stripped, yeah. I mean, you know what's crazy? Nobody realized it at, at first. But that ball was out way early, right there. I mean, it was out when he did the fake pitch right there. Oh. So after a couple of bad plays, ULM finally gets a break. Now they got to do something with it. Isaiah Alston. Maybe they go back to him here on third and seven. Instead, they go up the gut. And they're going to spot him at the 37. They need the 33 to get the first down. It's fourth and four now. Kind of no man's land here. We're in that movie before. Here we go. Fourth down and four. They need the 33-yard line. Anderson pitch outside. Robinson doesn't get there. Great job. Outstanding work on the outside by Jabari Johnson. Getting the start today because Tanner Glass unable to go for them. Or Tyler Glass, I beg your pardon. Tyler Glass unable to go in a great play, turning it over on downs for ULM. And Ben, the timing was off again. I yep. mean, the, the pitch relationship between Anderson and Robinson was not how it was supposed to be. He wanted to pitch it earlier. What a job there by Johnson to chase him down from behind. ULM getting it done. Suits is back in the game at quarterback. Jeremy Hunt came in for a series. Suits started, flings one. There's Peterson, got past the first down marker. And Josh Peterson, an 11 yard pickup there. And that's stud tight end for ULM. Finally, Peterson, he was in the wing position again. He's just going to run right down the field. Broughton realized it, but it was a little too late. You see Broughton, the safety pounding the ground because he saw it coming. Just a, a hair late there. For the second straight week here at Mikey. One for five are the Warhawks of ULM. Suits got plenty of time. Zings one down the middle, finding the seam there and getting into space and getting the first down was Josh Peterson. He was a golfer until the last couple of years of high school. His best round is 66. He can play Johnson to the outside, puts a foot in the ground, and gets around Cunningham. And a good piece of running there by Josh Johnson, setting up first and goal at the nine for ULM. Out there. Hustling to get off. Suits. Play fake now looks near side. End zone. Flag down in the corner. And it is caught in the corner. Malik Jackson with a touchdown grab. There is a flag down. I'm not sure Army got their 12th guy off the field. That's my thought too, Ross. Substitution infraction on the defense. 12th play to knock it off the field in time. That penalty is declined. The result of the play is a touchdown. So it is a good play. And ULM, their first points here in 2020 on the touchdown catch of six yards by Malik Jackson from that young man. Colby Suits making his first career start. 
for ULM. And, and they're right in this game, Ross Tucker. Absolutely they are. Heck of a drive, drive by Suits to move the ball down the field for ULM. Eaton the holder. Hughes, he is true. 14-7. Jackson and company celebrating on the sideline for the Warhawk. Or they're going to run you to the mess hall. Third and six here. Anderson takes a shot. Ball floated out there. And incomplete. Anderson back out of your picture is down on the field just across the 15-yard line. He took a wicked shot pressured by Travion Webster. Christian Anderson. A heavy, heavy hit delivered by Webster. I told you, Ben, this yep. is not what Army does well. No, it's not their strong suit. Obvious passing downs out of the shotgun. Travian Webster came on a blitz, and he hit Anderson right in the ribs. They practice it, just not nearly as much mm -hmm. as all of the run game stuff. Here's a look, Ross. You'll see Webster. He's the top of your screen. He comes in unblocked. Ooh. Boom. Right there. That right arm is... An area that did not look good coming down. Kudos to Webster, by the way, for a good legal tackle there. He'll get his head out of it. Yep. Hits him a little bit, but not with the crown of the helmet. Mm -hmm. Baker have made some huge plays. Of course, Kel graduated now. Here's Anderson. Army three and out of the last series, and they are all over Christian Anderson. Austin Holly right in his jersey to make the stop there. Gain of a yard. Travion Webster oh. is a bad, bad man. He's, he's balling. I mean, watch number 10 right here. Watch the collision with Sandon McCoy. We've seen Sandon McCoy annihilate guys. Yes. Watch Travion Webster, number 10. Watch this. Boom! Oh, wow. Unloads, uncorks his hips. I mean, that is as violent of a collision as you'll see in the sport of football. Linebacker taking five-yard runnies at each other. 27 tackles a season to go in 11 games played. Six, his best game of the season last year against South Alabama. There's Webster again, right on cue, Ross Tucker. He is playing some inspired football. It, it's like they just let him out of quarantine and he's <laughs> unleashed. I mean, I, I, I might just watch Webster every play. Watch him run out here and make this play. Watch this. That's big time. I mean, he is flying. That's on Tyrell Robinson, their fastest guy on offense. I mean, Travion Webster is introducing himself to Elf to America today. Third down. They need eight here. Anderson, nowhere to go. It's Holly, Holly and Webster just getting after it here. They've clearly made some adjustments here, Ross Tucker. I mentioned earlier Holly, that the that. free safety is usually unblocked when you run a 4-2-5. Brent Davis told us it's hard to get to the free safety. Watch Hawley. As soon as he sees the down block, he attacks it. He sees that, Robinson. He's right there. Nowhere else to go for Anderson. That's an easy tackle for Hawley. ULM comes out of the second half ready to go on defense. In the PhD? That's right. So do you have to call him doctor twice? Doctor, doctor. Doctor, doctor. doctor. <laughs> Colby suits back in, zings one down the middle. That is caught. It is Josh Peterson to move the chains for the Warhawks. He catches everything. He does. They really need to throw him the ball more. Yeah. I mean, it almost doesn't matter how good the coverage is. Josh Peterson's going to catch him. He's a former high school wide receiver yep. that just gotten bigger and bigger and now finds himself as an NFL prospect, and rightfully so because that's what they're looking for. They're looking for guys with wide receiver-like route running skills.